the the ledges are actually better on PS1. It's it's harder to get pineapple on PS1 than on PS2. Anyways, here we go on PS2. Game number one, MVD versus Daft. Lots of thunders. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you've seen a lot of this Robin now. What are the kind of changes in the gameplay that he has to do now in this game? So, first of all, the first 10 seconds of every match sucks for Robin because you don't get Levin Sword. Sword yet. You have to wait for Levin Sword to charge. Oh my god, and Nikita being super fast. Can't do it. Ooh. Even if you get that's, it. That's a great trade for Snake. Oh, yeah. MVD will take that. Any trade with Robin is a good trade for Snake. Yeah, that's very true. That being said, uh, Levin Sword is a very strong aerial. Ooh, wow! I didn't even see that there. Oh, oh. neutral air off stage. That's gonna take Daft's first for so long. Um, yeah. In addition to uh, Levin Sword not being online in the beginning, of course, like I mentioned before, checkmate is not a thing anymore. Uh, checkmate is not a thing at kill percents anymore. Um, and I, one thing I will say though, that is kind of nice for Robin is her advantage state. Ooh, there you go. Um, her advantage state is gonna be really nice in this matchup. Um, because one of, oh, that's cool. How strong Levin Sword is. Snake having not the best, like we said, you know, not the best disadvantage state, but also every character only really only having one air dodge. Robin can just swing, and if yeah. you air dodge, she swings again. Yeah, just tossing out hitboxes left and right. Yeah, and they're all very strong hitboxes. If you get hit, you're gonna die very early, even if you're Snake. That being said, if you get hit by Nikita off stage, you are also going to die very early as uh, MVD brings Daft down to last stop. So much damage. They lose the Levin Sword. Yep. That's brave of rolling into that grenade. Yeah. Some, sometimes you gotta do that. It's what Snake doesn't think you're gonna do. So you, you know, just have to go for it. <laughs> nice up smash to cover the roll. this option with the grenade. But... Wow, bouncing off the front there. Snake also, by the way, as I'm sure we're seeing from Liberty, able to crouch underneath Robin's electric spells and, and crawl under as well. Liberty great his grenades, but oh, wow, not gone. killing yet. Surprising. Yes. He tries to arc fire the ledge. Not gonna work out though. Oh, had the read. Oh, look at that. It just, just missed. He can't. He can't hit crouching snake. That's a problem. Yes, that's an enormous problem because MVD can just immediately up tilt from that position with a tilt stick. He doesn't even have to, you know, leave the crouching stance at any point. All right, that eleven forward air though definitely going to take Snake. MVD spend a little bit, a little too much time off stage and reads the rolling. Oh, no punish. And oh. up tilt. Yep, that is a stock. Such a strong move, and yeah. it, it's so fast. It is very fast. And you can do it out of a dash. Yep, and it's a nice hand. You can do it out of a dash. You can do it out of a crouch. It's a good anti-air. It kills really early. If they're at 160, you can down throw it. Yes, <laughs> yes. For those of you who don't know, um, when you're, if you're Snake and your opponent is at 160% or higher, this is something Gimmer discovered, I believe, if you down throw them, regardless of character, you are guaranteed an up tilt follow-up. And at 160%, I don't care what character you are, you are not going to live that. That'll probably kill. I feel like that'll even kill Unity on Kalos at 160. Snake up tilt. Yeah, I'm probably. actually curious. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't, but like I'm sure it will. Speaking of Kalos, though, Daft gonna counter pick it. I like that because specifically Jeez. for that's 18 percent of thunder. There's for more. <laughs> um, yeah, Daft gonna counter pick it probably because he wants to, uh, you know, avoid the early vertical kills. But I mean, two stocks that he dropped were because of Nikita, not really up so. That being said, he does have a lot more room to work with on this stage, a lot more space to, you know, just exist without being in fear of grenades exploding. So, I do, I do like this pick. Also, maybe not as big of a reason, but it is a bright stage, so it's going to be easier to see grenades and see fours. <laughs> so, makes sense. Now, because of the high ceiling, it will be harder to kill Snake with up airs too. So that's worth noting. But if Dad can get a good uh, forward air off Snake's yeah. Cipher, not to beat up the Cipher. Yeah. Um, uh, then, you know, he will still be able to take the stocks early. This stage actually has average side blast zones. It's just the uh, vertical blast zone that's very, very, very high. Yeah, I feel like Daph was getting stocks in the first game with the Warrior a lot off stage. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, yeah, or that. Woo! That was close. Oh, that's really At least at 156. Like, I feel like that's the KO. Yeah. Oh, wow. Still not killing though. Oh, there we go. I swear this stage has average horizontal <laughs> blast zones. 
such a bad spot in chat. Oh! Oh wow, he's living! He can just do it again. I... All of these live... All of these, like, living these hits is really making me second guess... Second guess to death, though. Oh, grabs the sword. Epic Snake needs another projectile. <laughs> yeah, right? Snake with the sword, that's... What, what's scarier than that? Only one use of thunder left to death. Ooh. Alright, well, it's recharged now, so... That's a positive take... note because of yeah. the bright side of things. Exactly. Wow, that just died. But yeah, where'd it go? Nice. What hit it? Oh, oh, wow. That's silly. Oh, Dap did not know that was there. Neither did I, to be fair. Yeah, I didn't either. I wonder how long ago he put that there. Classic snake game, but you're just pressing a whole lot of buttons all the time, just throwing out projectiles, explosives all over the place. That's again death rolling into the grenade. What yeah. Point of view? I I do like it because generally when snake they're like I have a grenade there, I'm not gonna I'm gonna cover the other side. Yeah. You know? The grenade is the grenade's kinda like a bait to make them, you know, go the other direction. Oh does not get the forward and follow up. Nice block on the uh, up tilt. Imagine though, MVD is crouching that and then up tilt. Oh Jeez. wow, yeah, nothing you can do about that one. Just do that. Yeah, grab some as his up smash is coming back down. There's so, so much of this like game is mash or you, or you lose your stock. Yeah, right? There's so many of those. Smash ultimate is secretly a button masher. I really like MVD's crouches. I feel like he can be taking even more advantage of them than he than he currently is. Yeah, we even saw like, dodging the forward air. Yeah, and that like sweeps and the, the back bottom. air. Yeah, so it's <laughs> able to avoid both. The low profile. That's doing great here though, keeping MVD in his bad spot. Those are never not good. Right? It's gonna be three years from now, and someone's gonna get like a parry on some strong unit. Oh, that was so sweet. I, I for one can't wait until people start mastering parries. You know, right now people are really focusing on being able to parry certain moves. For example, in South Florida, people have practiced parrying specifically uh, Rob Dutchler on reaction because people are getting tired of losing to Ape Man over and over again. <laughs> bad spot for death last win usage there. Yeah, MVD still with a percent deficit, but this is very easily anyone's game. Also, this is going to be tough for death. All right, avoid avoid Nikita. Running low on resources. Oh, yes. that's scary. Small shield. Great grab. And catches him with the forward air, and that's going to kill. Wow. Blowing up off All the right, side. Death. See, average blast zones. I, I, I'm going it. to double check that later, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. 1-1, one, one, death bringing it back in game two. See what MVD's kind of fits now. I wonder what kind of a stage you would you would want here if you're MVD. Lilat? <laughs> it is MVD well, after all. If you are a snake player, I should rephrase Oh, it. I see. Um yeah, I'm really not sure. Uh, I feel like on the cheesier side of things, Unova or Lilat actually might be good picks just because it's a darker stage, it's harder to see the explosives. Alright, well, <laughs> there you go. And, you know, I'm not surprised. It's MVD. MVD and Lila, name, name a more perfect duo. It's hard. It's hard for us to do that. <laughs> so we're game number three. Dap getting one on the board on the on the three, two, one, go! This is home. This is MVD's yes. home. Now it doesn't tilt anymore, but I mean, that's a good thing. I don't think anyone's upset that it doesn't tilt anymore. I think... Never mind. Anyways. <laughs> Ooh, wow. forward and through the up smash. That was cool. That's one way to get back to the stage. He can't use thunder from the ledge. The Ooh, ledge that's stuff. true. I like that. Death catch the crowd. finding you know uh, a way to utilize MVD's own counter. Nice. Oh wow, but grenade coming out through uh, arc fire. There was probably like a one frame gap where Snake had mobility. Is Snake learning how to fly. <laughs> oh, he made it to ledge. That's surprising. That's really surprising. Even if you hit Snake. Yeah. Death opted to go for the trade. Oh my god. What do you do? What do you do? That move is so really fast. Oh, that was super fast crouch from MVD. That was cool. Death 
death now, keeping him off. Dark fire to forward air? Not enough. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, that. I, you know what? I'm not even going to say it was a decent put because maybe it was. I don't know what it was. It looked cool, though. Back throw, that should do it. Nope. It's amazing. Also, hybrid blossoms. Yeah. Still no. <laughs> Robin's got a strong back throw, man. I don't know if it's nerfed from Smash 4 because it was very strong in Smash 4, but I'm still very surprised that that didn't kill even before his nerf control. Alright, he's got to catch this recovery. Yep, catch this uh, MVD B reversing right into him. He's going to pull him. Kind of the classic snake landing, right? You, you cypher way up high, drop explosives. Yep. Yeah. Trying to, try to juke him. Yeah. Okay, there is... Oh, never mind. Oh my gosh! Wow, he, he was stuck for so long. Did yeah. Did he make a grenade? C4 on the left platform. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really... More cheese, I guess, because uh, the way the camera you just, just exists, it. you don't get to see it when you're on the on the ground with Lila. Ooh, looking for the barbarian slice. Not gonna find it though. You had the roll in, but he didn't do anything. Yeah, wasn't able to capitalize. Oh, but Nikita. Nice again. Great crouch. Oh, and oh. he is stuck. Don't hold shield, just wait for the word now, and then hold shield. Oh, wow, that could be great. If you just hold shield while that's on you, yep, that was still there. He was off stage. You can't block yeah, you off can't stage, and you just punish the air, the, uh, air dodge. Yeah, if that's on you, don't hold shield, because your shield's going to get lower, and then it's going to pop, or you're going to get hit anyways. Yeah. When Snake blows up his C4, he goes, now. And you can very, there. very easily, yeah. honestly, or there, yeah, <laughs> very easily react to that and block or if you're in the air, air dodge. But do not do it preemptively. We saw their death air dodged, yeah. afraid of, you know, MVD detonating the C4. And then MVD just got a super free punish on the air dodge. So you really, you got to be able to react to it. Because if you, you guess, you maybe you'll get it off to Snake. Because I know grabbing other I think people, you, yeah, you can. Off. Yes, you can. Yeah. I guess he can't use it then. <laughs> yeah, because um, Snake's not going to detonate him when, it's, when he's on, a, it's, uh, on himself. So MVD going to take game three. And now we're going to Yoshi's Yoshi story. story. Sorry. We thought it was good. You have both of on the stage. Yeah, right? We go to Yoshi's. Yeah. We should make a super happy tree eagle. <laughs> what a name for a stage. I feel like it was not always called that. It, it wasn't called, it definitely was not called that in Smash 64, that's for sure. I guess they realized, like, huh, we have two stages called Yoshi Silent Star. Or Yoshi Star, whichever one it was. I don't even know. Back in the early lead here, game four. Oh, oh. Big Owen, or L Thunder, excuse me, and that's going to kill. Oh, really? Missing the grab. Really? That was so brave. It was. Yeah. Good punish though. Got two up airs for it, and then some more. Oh, all right. Beating him up with the bronze sword. I feel like the bronze sword is just like a metal club. It's not actually yeah. a sword. Not There's no, yeah, no edges whatsoever. Wow, that lingered so long. Oh my God! What a what a kill from Daph. This counter pick really, really working out for him. And I like it. Again, the, the closed off stage. Going to make it harder for MVD to set up his camp game. Yeah. It's so enclosed, there's just always action going on. Yeah. And Rob, Robin, can, Robin can play that game. Robin can totally play that game with her aerials. Mm, but Nikita, though, going to make recovering oh. a bit difficult. Back, like oh, it's wow. No matter what you do, Snake's got an option for you. Oh wow, it's a dash attack, that's cool. If only um DASC was in this game. From uh from Brawl. Y'all can look that up. <laughs> oh oh no. that's unfortunate. Grab. Yeah. Forward smash apparently hits the ledge. I Learned I that imagine. Today. It's a good angle. He's yeah, shooting he's down. literally <laughs> shooting it down and it's a big explosion. So yeah, it makes sense. I'm surprised MVD didn't just try and sticky him right there. In uh in brawl, if you stick if you stuck someone, um, it could actually just fall off of them as they were moving. I don't know if that's in this game or not. I don't know if that's still a thing or not. I think it might be. 
Three stocks to one, right? Yeah. That up to that second stock from MVD was very clutch. Wow. Canceling. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Like pretty much every hitbox just beats hard fire. Oh. oh it's caught with Elwin for throwing the grenade and Daff staying alive, bringing it to game number five. Numbers off stage. That's a little bit. It seems very, very good against Snake. Yeah, you know, a lot absolutely. Of characters don't have the option of like. Sending out a hitbox mm -hmm. like that that far out that'll KO. Yeah. And especially if Snake's already committed to an option like uh, throwing a C or throwing a grenade. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. A or very even if he, I feel like if he starts his uppie early, right, you can stay on stage and just jump and shoot it out. You don't have to commit. Um, so I, th I could be wrong about this. Don't quote me. Oh, well, I do know it. It does take attacks need to do a certain percent in order to knock yeah. Snake off the cipher. I, I'm not gonna say number. I don't know exactly what the number is. I'm not even going to say what I thought it was. All right. But I'm not sure that Elwind does that amount of percent. But we have taken this to a game five set. Yes. Death and MVD back and forth. Definitely a really good last match before top eight losing bracket begins. Only one of them gets to go on. I'm so sad they're not both getting top eight. Potentially a chance to fight against either Zero or Samsora, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Only one of them gets through. Oh, Alright, here we go. Game 5, Daft versus MVD. Winner getting top 8 and loser finishing in ninth. Three, two, one, right on the line. Go. Absolutely. A top 8 spot is always very comforting for it. Right? It feels almost the worst to, to go out at night sometimes. Yeah. M MVD will definitely tell you that. He would rather get 13th than ninth. So, MVD counter counterpicking to Town and City, which I like a lot. It's the complete opposite of Yoshi's story. It's got very wide. very wide, yeah, a lot of room for him to move around, set up shop, it's and, and really do his thing. Just leave yeah. Explosives on all the time. And since they move, also something that was really cool that Snake could do on Smashville and Brawl, and also on Hazards on uh, Smashville in this game as well, is you put a uh, C4 on the platform and it it, it moves. Yeah. So when it gets near them, you know, you just uh, blow it up. Once again, so troublesome for Robin to deal with. Great up. Ooh. Oh, he made it. Great up. He, he still has to get back on stage, though. After all that, just going to take a great forward to getting back on yeah. stage. Yeah. They, when, it's got to feel bad when getting past Nikita is only half of the battle. Yeah, it seems like that's the boss battle. But then, that's just the mini boss. Yeah. In, yeah. That's not even his final form. Back air. Ooh, it's not too much. He's smothering that. His crouches are so good. Definitely a fantastic tool Snake has in this matchup. And it's really, it's something MVD should be used to, because Snake, he's, he had this in Brawl too. He could crouch under, you know, a lot of different projectiles, uh, which made just him that much stronger in the neutral game, especially when it came to, you know, camp wars against other zones. He does have a C4 on the middle platform right now. Yep. Oh, he's going to back throw? Oh, I thought he was going to back throw to it. But yeah, why back throw when you can just Nikita? That really ought to hurt Snake. You know? When it hits him? Yeah. <laughs> Run up, up, up tilt. Still, yeah. MVD looking real good to take this set still right on now. His first stock. It's so hard to KO Snake and he has to do it three times? It is, yeah. No checkmate, though. That probably would have been death in uh, Smash 4. It's a large task in front of that. Yeah. That was a nice anti-air down tilt. Oh! That sour spot not going to do enough to knock him off Cypher. Under, getting the shield very low. It's the other though. Staff in a bad spot now. Alright, nice stab. Side piece. This is so scary. Up smash. Why is he kind of, he stopped doing the, the, the key to there? Yeah, maybe looking for a different option, like maybe wouldn't get there fast enough. Because the up smash was to cover something. That had a hundred and ten. Oh, oh was, what was Who that? Who knew? What was that? That was C4 on the ground. I didn't even see it. 
I did not even see it. Every day. And neither did Daff, I guess. Two steps ahead. Three steps Always. ahead. Always. MVD going to take it. 3-2 over Daff. He acted like he was in a bad spot off the side yep, of stage yep, two. That. That's like, all right, I'll punish it. And then that is that is also classic MVD wow. right there. But amazing stuff. Great set to both players. Daff finishing in ninth place. Uh, 